This is a technical fitment video related to the primary drive system on the popular VAG 2 litre TDI engine series. There are two different OE tensioners fitted to this engine, one made by Ena and the other by Lightens. Both are completely interchangeable but have different setup procedures. The Ena tensioner can be found in the two kits listed above along with the components required to carry out a full timing belt service. Before installation, ensure the engine is at ambient temperature, the engine is locked up and timing components removed as per manufacturer's instructions. Stage one. Firstly, the tensioner mounting tab must be correctly located in the slot on the engine. Then, using a six mil Allen key, rotate the installation eccentric anti-clockwise until the five mil Allen key hole is visible and sits in the center of the cutout window as shown. Stage two. The next part is the critical element of the setup. Fit the tensioner nut, tighten fully and torque to 10 newton meters. This will compress the tensioner. Now, slacken the nut 180 degrees as shown. Fit both Allen keys one to lock the tensioner assembly, the 5mm, and one to rotate the installation eccentric, the 6mm. Rotate the 6mm Allen key clockwise until the tensioner pointer goes past the nominal slot and all the way to the end stop, and tighten the nut with a spanner. No need to torque yet. Stage 3. Fit the new belt, ensuring it is seated correctly all the way round. Then slacken the tensioner nut and turn the 6mm Allen key anti-clockwise until the pointer goes all the way over to the other end stop, which will allow the 5mm Allen key to become relaxed, at which point it can be removed. Stage 4. Now you are ready to set the tensioner to nominal by holding the nut with a spanner whilst rotating the Allen key clockwise until the pointer sits centrally in the slot. Then hold the tensioner position with the Allen key whilst applying a torque value of 20 newton meters plus an additional 45 degrees to the nut. The torque plus degrees are a critical part of the setup. Final stage, remove all locking tools as described in the full vehicle manufacturer's instructions and rotate the engine clockwise two full revolutions before checking the tensioner pointer is still set to nominal. If the tensioner pointer is not still at nominal or the tools do not fit, then remove everything and then restart the full procedure again.